Some people would say having an assistant makes you a snob, but I think actually everyone should have an assistant at some level or another. And there's six different types of assistants, so let's talk through them. The first decision you're gonna make is whether someone is dedicated or non-dedicated. So non-dedicated means you make a request, you send a task out, you send an email, and someone within the pool of labor all around the world is gonna grab that task and get it done for you. That's non-dedicated, whereas dedicated means you know the person you're working with and your requests go to the same person every time. There's different services for these. A non-dedicated service might be something like Fancy Hands, if you've heard of that. It's a great tool for just sending out tasks or requests and someone will pick them up. And then a dedicated service might be just a person you find on Upwork or something like that, where you start to develop a relationship with that person. Number two, you're gonna decide, do you want them virtual or do you want them local? Virtual assistants are easy to find and they're available all over the world. So a virtual assistant is someone that is anywhere, maybe in a place with lower costs of living so they're cheaper and easier to afford, or maybe they're local in your own backyard and you bring on somebody that you develop a relationship with that can help you with physical tasks. And that's really what you're deciding. Do you need someone to help you with physical tasks like picking up a package, going on an errand, dropping something off at your house, or is most of the work that you're doing virtual? And if so, you might wanna start with a virtual assistant. Then the third area you're deciding between is is someone part-time or full-time? Now you can commit to a non-dedicated service for full-time hours. So this doesn't just have to be a dedicated person that you're deciding part-time or full-time. It's just how much work do you actually need done? Now my suggestion would be that you start simple. Start with a non-dedicated service, part-time bucket of hours or tasks per month, and a virtual commitment so they can be anywhere in the world. That's gonna be the cheapest for you if you're just getting started, and it helps you build those delegation muscles until you get better at it. But then, as your business gets more mature, or your life gets busier, you might want full-time hours, you might want someone you're working with that's dedicated, and you might want somebody local to help you with all those physical needs around your home and office. So those are the six different combos of assistance that you could have. And whatever you do, just pick someone to leverage time and help make you more productive.